Alrighty here, so this is in my downstairs bedroom. This trap has been active for about one week. Kind of expected a little bit less coverage. I don't know if you could see it, but right there, there's a flying bug. And I have no clue what that is. It looks like a bugger. But this is the uh, Toro Flea Trap. I got seven of these landmines. These have been kind of been beat up and kind of abused, kind of, by the uh, RoboVac. Uh, I'm just replacing the, the flea trap. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I normally do, normally peel this while it's on the trap. I'm just going to do it um, off the trap because. I haven't been able to do it quite so well after the first one. I don't know if it's just the replacement traps or they changed it where it's no longer cutting all the way through. But you pretty much remove the the padding on top, or not the padding, but the, um, the protective cover from top. And you just put it in place, as you can see. Here's what the used one is, and there's the booger looking bug, and there's the flying bug right there. Not really too worried about that one. Really worried about the dots. Each one of those dots is a flea. So, like I said, this has been going on for a week, and this is my downstairs bedroom. I'm just doing a, uh, a flea log. And this is pretty much what I've been doing. It's, it's been pretty much... Staying right there as it um as it goes. Now I just gotta do this six more times, and hopefully in about a week there will be no fleas in there on there. Hopefully, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, so here's my uh, second trap. This is also downstairs. This is my second trap that's downstairs. And also the last trap I bought. Ooh. Pesky. So, oh, this is what it looks like after one week. Now, I think the instructions say to keep this for two weeks. But I'm under infestation. I'm under constant attack. So, it's pretty peppered. Uh, so, I am not we we'll be using this for two weeks. I'm only going to do it for one week. And we're just going to buy a crap ton of these. These uh, stickers, these pads. And just replace them once a week. To kind of show progress. Like I said, the new one. Just removing the... I don't know what to call it. They're not stickers, but the opposite of stickers. I'm just installing them in uh, in here, putting them underneath the, the ridges, and hopefully one day they'll uh, start looking like the ones upstairs. Only got a couple more to go, five more to go, and I'm going to film that. All right, so here's the uh, third one that's in my upstairs hallway as you can see it's been pretty peppered um let me go ahead and get the tarot so it's pretty peppered hopefully um once again hopefully we could just reduce the number of fleas in this area uh, hopefully i'm making progress i sprayed i think upstairs a total of four times now downstairs a total of two times uh, with the black flag flea and tick spray I don't know if I need something a little bit stronger or I need more of it but it's just the aerosol cans it takes about roughly two cans to do my whole house Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I need to just do three. 
I don't know. Hopefully I'm making progress with the vacuum. Like I said, this is the, uh, the hallway. I'm just going to do the computer room next. All right, so this is the, uh, the computer room. We'll go ahead and remove this. You get the uh, Toro. As you can see, not as peppered. This used to be a lot worse. I think the last one I replaced was a lot worse. So there's definitely progress being made. No clue what that is right there. It looks like a booger, but it's definitely a bug. So that's something good. Like I said, I um, really want to get rid of these fleas in my house. Everybody has home remedies and everybody says, try this, try that, try borax, try XYZ, try banana pills. I haven't tried banana pills because I don't really eat bananas. Like I say, I got seven of these. I got three for my bedroom and I I think I could probably safely remove one from my bedroom, but we'll see. There we go, it's like I said, brand new one. This is Sunday, October the 2nd. Yeah, October the 2nd. So hopefully, hopefully one day soon. All these traps will just be there just to see if I have another infestation. Um, we'll see. Like I said, this is the upstairs computer room. And just to show you again, here's the the trap. Not as bad as the uh, downstairs, not as bad as the the hallway, so. Hopefully, hopefully I'm winning against the, the battle. Alright, so this is one of the traps in my main bedroom. As you can see, not so much peppered. It was a lot more peppered. I think it's about one, two, three, four, five bugs on there. I think you can see some of the uh, powder I've been spraying, the dye of mattress one so hopefully i'm making progress at least actually there's six in there didn't count that one right there actually there's seven so there's one two three four five six seven right up here one two three four five six seven this is what I want all my traps to look like. I don't think I'm going to 100% get rid of all the fleas. If I, could, if I can knock them down to the part where they're manageable, to where they're not attacking me and my dog, that would be really awesome. And by the way, I'm just peeling it. It looks like um, the factory's not cutting these completely. As you can see, there's... I don't know if you were supposed to remove these or not, but... I've been keeping them on and you just kind of go like so until it comes off and put it back in the trap Makes you know Bob's your uncle so depending on how this one looks like on Wednesday I might actually move this one downstairs because I don't think the fleas are going to be here I do have a sage and a rosemary plant up here and hopefully I can get some more plants up here because that's supposed to repel the the, the fleas. Alright, so here's the trap that's near my door. Also not as peppered. Let's see. I recently replaced the light on here. I don't know if you can see that. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bugs on there. So I'm definitely making some progress. This light's not 
exactly the same. And just in case you're wondering, I'm getting these refill packages. Flea trap, if you want the, uh, the UPC code, it's right there. Comes in a package of three. I um, wish it came in more, but it is what it is. We just got to deal with the cards we got dealt. And hopefully, between vacuuming the plants, bathing my dog more regularly, and probably treating the yard here in a couple of hours, just keep on at it once a week spraying, even though I probably shouldn't be doing that. Can says it's up, get up for seven months, but it also depends on the infestation and how much they're ingrained and how much of a foothold they got. So we got one new brand new one, and it's time for the uh, the last the last one. I'm really impressed with this product. It's kind of a mixed blessing. I wish I wasn't getting dots, but I'm getting dots. So, we'll see. Here's my uh, final trap. This one's a little bit more peppered. As you can see. As you can see, it's a lot more peppered. I'm trying to see. It's probably about 15 fleas on there. And this is the uh, flea trap that's near my vanity slash where I have my dog kernel, kennel, yeah kennel, not kernel but kennel. So hopefully um, I'm turning turning the uh, the tables on these pesky little pepper flakes. I am starting to see more brown fleas on my dog. So like maybe it's a new it's a new hatch. Hopefully I could break the breeding cycle because that's the most important thing to do when you're your infestation. The second important thing to do is to have patience. Because it's not something that you're gonna be able to do in one shot. You just can't just vacuum one day and spray the same day, put diametrous powder down all in one day and call it. A victory you literally have to have patience um, you have to have determination you gotta break the breeding cycle you just gotta keep on vacuuming you gotta break the cycle and hopefully one day you'll have a minimum flea in your house hopefully uh, you found this video informant like I said this is week three of actually or the ending of week three, beginning of week four of actively going on the offensive with these fleas. And hopefully uh, this will be the last week, but I'm not really sure. Probably have a couple more weeks of spray, a couple more weeks of trap replacement to really get the reduction I really want. And of course vacuuming just about every day. Hopefully you found this video somewhat informative. If not, let me know. Is there anything else you want me to include in this type of video? Um, leave a comment down below. Smash the like and subscribe button on any all platforms or just the platform you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening. Like I said, this is Sunday, October the 2nd, 2022. I'm on the fourth week of fighting these fleas.